Hey YouTube, it's Mitch at iPhoneCaptain.com. Today we're doing the best tweaks of the week. Today's November 16th. Let's get started. The first one we have here is called Roomy. Roomy adds space to your notifications when they come in. You have a wider area between each one of them that you can see here. And you can uh, tap on them just the same. It doesn't affect anything like that. It just adds larger viewing area for you to see. Now, that slider that you saw come down here, that's called IntelliScreen X8. And if you've never purchased this in the past, it's going to be $9.99. However, it is a free update for the users that had it on iOS 7. Now, I did an extensive in-depth review of this yesterday, so I'm not really going to go into a lot of detail about it. But as you can see on the first page here, you have your weather. Any, all of your notifications are listed here. All of your mail, Twitter, Facebook, and you can even set up an RSS feed. You still have your Today View here if you have certain widgets that you are attached to using on a daily basis. Those will be showing up right here for you as well. And to get that slider to come down, you can actually just flip down from the top on the left side. And you can actually set that to be an activator gesture if you want it to be. And you can double tap or triple tap, however you want to set it up. And you can use that slider anywhere you may be. Say, for instance, you're in Safari, it still works. Any, inside any apps, anywhere you may want to use that. And when you pull it down, if you want to use any of those applications, there you just tap them. And say we want to go to settings, you just tap settings and you see it slides out. It has that little cool animation added to it. And you push your home button one time to go back in. And one cool thing about this slider that I'm trying to show you here, uh, you can move these around just hold down on them and put them in wiggle mode like any other app on the iOS and just drag and drop wherever you want it to be and there are some settings inside here where you can set that up to be specific applications in certain spots but like I said if you want to know all those details I'll link my in-depth review up to IntelliScreen X8 on the screen here for uh, computer users and I'll have it in the description for the mobile users and that'll be $9.99 if you've never owned it, and it's a free update. Next up, send delay. How many times have you sent a message, and as soon as you sent it, you thought, well, I probably shouldn't have done that? Well, this adds some time for you to sort of think things over and make sure you have made the right choice, and you can increase and decrease your delay time here by just moving this slider right and left on the screen. The farther to the right, the longer it takes before it sends. And it gives you that time to think about, you know, if your text message is correct, everything in it, and all that kind of stuff before you actually send it on its way. So very awesome tweak there. Next one we're looking at here is probably one you're going to be the most amazed with today, and it's called Eternum. And that is a Latin word, we're told, because it starts with an A, it's A-E-T-E-R-N-U-M, Eternum. And this gives you the Apple Watch interface directly on your springboard. So let's go ahead and let me show you what that looks like. Now, how amazing is that, guys? And if this is what the Apple Watch is going to look like, it's definitely going to be a cool device and definitely one that I want to get a hold of as soon as it hits the market. But as you can see, you can swipe around here, left and right, any way you want to, up, down. And if you want to move in your applications around, you just hold down on them. And they go into this little spin mode instead of this jiggle mode. I really like this a lot better. And then you can just hold your finger on the one you want to move. And then just drag and drop it wherever you want it. Hit the home button to stop the wiggle mode or whatever it is that we were in there. And then you can go right back to using this interface. This is a remarkable interface, guys, to play around with, and you can set it up to any activator action you want. It's called Eternum, and if I'm not mistaken, it's $3.99, so be sure to check it out. And let's go back to our regular look now. 
for the last one is called ASOS. I'll let you be the own judge how you want to pronounce it. ASOS, I guess you could say. But anyway, we'll go back over in here. And this is a way to lock your apps, even though you see I have Bio Protect enabled on my device. If someone were to get past that lock screen, they can still get into any application they may want here. ASUS eliminates that. So let's go into our settings. We'll go up here to ASOS. And you have to even have a password right here. Once you enter your password, it'll open up and let you in. And in here, you can change any of your settings, anything like that you want to lock. Down here to the locked applications setting, you see I have the calculator and the calendar locked. Now let's see if we can open the calendar. When we try to open the calendar, we're asked for our passcode. Now it also works in conjunction with BioProtect because I can use my fingerprint to unlock that just the same as entering in my passcode because technically my fingerprint is my passcode. So once you enter in your passcode, it'll let you go on in. And guys, if you have wives or girlfriends that like to sneak and read your text while you're in the shower, uh, this would be an awesome way to, to keep yourself from getting into trouble. So be sure to check those five out. I know you're going to enjoy them. Hit that subscribe button if you're not already. And that thumbs up, thumbs up button is right there beside it. And be sure to keep coming back.